Finally at 6, we officially hit a heat wave this afternoon when the temperature reached 90 for the third day in a row. Of course, no one does a heat wave quite like Mike Stevens, as you will plainly see in tonight's trip back down the Pennsylvania Road to the summer of 07. There's two things you'll notice right off about this story, dear viewer. First, I'm going to state the obvious. And secondly, I'm not going to offer any solutions. So let's get that out of the way right up front. It is hot out here. It's the dog days of summer, so there's not much we can do about it. The heat of summer came breezing in just the other day. How nice, I thought. Of course, it would have been better had it just done a touch and go, skipping in and skipping out. It has hung around far too long, at least by some standards. Summed up, we've enjoyed as much of it as we can stand. We're frazzled and frizzled and caught in a haze. If it weren't for AC, we'd be in a much bigger daze. I am reminded, however, of a few good points about these days, and in fairness, I must bring them out. First, no matter how hot it is, we don't need to shovel it. Our wardrobes are simpler, thinner, lighter, easier, no fuss, no muss. The deep summer forces us to relax more, maybe talk to each other more as we do. Maybe enjoy the front porch and an iced tea on a summer evening. The dog days of summer that make the roads shimmer with heat and asphalt lots resemble giant black ovens are upon us for better or worse. We're having a heat wave. Come February, we may be wishing we had held on to some of it. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road.